What's up, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, everybody? It's Brent Sibley, Sibley Dolman Accident Injury Attorneys. And today I'm gonna be talking about a case, but it's more importantly, I'm gonna be talking about an important life lesson that I've talked about before, but you can never bring this one up enough. The overall theme of this case is dealing with things, dealing with uncertainty. Um, in life, you know, there's a lot of things that come up that are gonna make you uncertain, that are gonna make you worried, that you're just not gonna know. It's gonna be your first time doing X, Y, Z. And what a lot of people do in these situations is they delay, delay, delay. Don't do it, think about it, think about it more, talk about it, don't do it, don't do it, delay, delay, delay. It's the worst possible thing you can do, especially if you're not really being productive on your processes when you're thinking about doing it. So this case, um, I'm gonna call her E, Ellie. It's not her name, but I'm gonna call her Ellie. She had a case four years ago. She's a young girl in her early 20s. She hired a lawyer that has a very bad reputation and he's actually been suspended multiple times. And during her case, this lawyer got suspended because he was literally ambulance chasing. So she got a letter two years ago, two and a half years ago, saying I'm suspended. There's another lawyer handling my cases. She didn't really know what to make of the letter. Nobody contact her because at these firms where you have bad lawyers, um, you know, they don't explain anything, blah, blah, blah. So she didn't really know what to do. She didn't really know if she still had a lawyer. She didn't have, she had a lot of uncertainty and she had nowhere to turn for answers. So what she did was she didn't do anything. She just waited, 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 waited. Luckily, she was able to get a recommendation from from my, one of my followers, one of my ex-clients who keeps up with me, Anthony, you're the man. You are the man for putting this one together. Um, and he said, call Brent. He's the real deal. He's not, you know, there's nothing, there's no cost. There's nothing to be worried about, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know if she called me right away. She may have waited even further once he told her to contact me. But long story short, she did contact me. She she uh, she gave me the facts of her case. She waited about two years, two and a half years from the day she got the letter from this attorney to the day that she contacted me, which is, it's ironic in a way because there's a statute of limitations on Florida auto accident cases, negligence cases of four years. If you wait to the fourth year and you haven't filed a lawsuit yet, you're done. No chance, your case is over and there's nothing you can do about it, your case is over, whatever. Even if it was a million or a $10 million case, if you haven't filed your lawsuit yet and you haven't settled the case, your case is now worth zero. So she contacted me uh, in early January and her statute of limitations was March 4th. So she contacted me about six weeks, six and a half, seven weeks before the statute of limitations was gonna run. I said, oh man, this is dicey. We almost never, as lawyers, we almost never take cases that are that close to the statute of limitations because there's so many things. I gotta deal with the insurance company. I gotta deal with the client. I gotta deal with the medical records. I gotta deal with the courts. There's so many things that could go wrong. And if I have her case while the statute runs, then I'm committing malpractice. So most lawyers will not take cases that are this close. But I said, you know, it was referred by someone on, on social media. It was referred by a client of mine, an ex-client of mine. I gotta do right, I gotta do right. So I took her case, I explained to her, look, this is a really dicey situation. I worked through it with her. Actually still haven't even met her. This is all gonna be, this is all virtual. Phone call, video, FaceTime, everything. I said, look, I'm gonna take your case. But you know, you're really lucky you just contacted me not in a month from now because I couldn't take it that with that close to the deadline. So I took her case. I didn't delegate a single task. I didn't even uh, let a paralegal, no one in my firm even knew about it. I did every single thing myself because I was paranoid about, you know, um, letting, having something miss through the cracks. And I just kept it on my daily to-do list. I set up a daily reminder to remind me every single day to work on this case. So, which was very effective, by the way, if you don't do that, I'm Apple, it's the best thing ever. Just tell Siri, say every single day, every day at 10 a.m., remind me to do this. And it'll remind you every day, side note. Anyway, so I got her case, got all her records. She was very cooperative and uh, we were able to get a great settlement in two or three weeks total time. I collected all the records. I had to speak to five different people at the insurance company because it was such an old claim that that division didn't even exist anymore. It got transferred to one person. I had to speak to a supervisor, another supervisor. All in all, I spoke to five different people. I finally got somebody. And then even then, you know, 
this is her last, the girl that I was working with at the insurance company, her last week at that job is this week. So if I hadn't have settled the claim like yesterday, which I did, I might have not settled the claim. I might've had to file a lawsuit. It, it would have been a disaster. So anyway, that's a side note. But the moral of the story is, if something gives you uncertainty and you're not sure about it, take action on it immediately. The most uncertain things in your life are the ones that you need to take action on immediately. If you bury them and you delay them and you delay them, then there's a good chance that it's going to get worse or you're going to miss on an opportunity. Like in this scenario, I settled this case for $50,000. The lady had, uh, the very nice young girl had very mi minimal treatment, but we got an amazing result. She's now going to be getting approximately uh, $30,000 in her pocket, tax-free, clean money that literally would have just $30,000. I mean, this is a lot of money, folks. You know, $30,000 in her pocket, tax-free, and uh, if she had just waited one more month, so she waited, what, 27 months? If she had just waited 28 months, that's a lot of money to just evaporate into thin air. So again, this is a post more about thinking about everyone who watches this is gonna have something, something, maybe 10 things, but hopefully at least, just at least one or two that you've been delaying on. If you think about it, there's something either really good that could happen if you do that thing, or you could be preventing something really bad from happening. So think about that. I'm super, super happy about this case. Obviously not the biggest case in the world, but it's got a great story behind it. And Ellie, I'm so happy for you. Every time we speak, I can hear it in your voice, how happy you are and how like you still can't even believe it's true. The other day when I told her, she was like, oh my God, I thought I was gonna get like $500 or you weren't gonna be able to settle the case at all. So amazing story, power of uh, social media. Anthony, you're the man. And uh, I'm super, super happy uh, you know, that I was able to get such a great result for this client. Don't put things off. Don't put things off. There's there's gems out there in the world waiting for you if you take action today. Brent Sibley, Sibley Dolman, Action Injury Attorneys. I'll see you guys in the next one.